Hey guys, welcome back to Rem Pet Bath and Beauty. Um, I talked about having a business opportunity back in the Wake Me Up Before You Go Go um, video. And that business opportunity has actually come to fruition and I'm so excited about it. Um, there is a woman who, her name is Janessa, and she sells um, Lou LaRoe leggings. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below for her company and how she sells all of her Lou LaRoe leggings. But she is a personal customer as well, and she and I have... Um, come together to do this thing where she she makes you know when she sends out orders she sends out little goodies and freebies and things like that well the goodies and freebies that she's going to be giving out are my products so I'm very excited for this opportunity for my business and for her business and thank you, thank you, Janessa. You've been so wonderful and awesome to work with. You know, coming together to do all of this has been incredible. So what I have here, Janessa wants, she loves our whipped soap and our foaming sugar scrub. So I have my um, foaming bath butter base that I make myself. I have this in here and what we're going to do is we're going to make the whip soaps first. Um, she wants a total of 10 of those and these are going to go into 2 ounce jars that are, these jars are great. I'm, I'll leave a link also below. Um, but uh, we're going to do a fragrance, uh, a fragrance called that we call Lucky Star, which is a dupe of Victoria's Secrets Heavenly. And we're going to do Walking on Sunshine, which is lemongrass. So I'm going to get this all going and all fluffy and whatnot. And I have some oils um, that I add to these. I add both sunflower and castor oil. So when I turn on my kitchen aid, um, I'm gonna, you know, fast forward through that. I'm gonna try to figure out how to play some music for you guys <laughs> while this is going. I haven't played with that part of my my editing yet, so but I'm gonna get this fluffed up really good. Um, I will probably do this for about five minutes before I add my oils. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the camera on. Like I said, I'm gonna try to figure out how to do the music thing. If not. I'm sorry you're going to have silence, but here we go. We're going to start off at 1, and by the way, when you are doing products like this, and I know I said it in my emulsified sugar scrub video, um, everything has to be completely sanitized. Um, I used a 5% bleach solution to wash all of my containers, all of my equipment, my spatulas, my everything. Even the plastic spoons that I will be adding color have been 5% bleach solution. Plus, everything has also, my work surface, my camera, the KitchenAid, everything has been um, sanitized. And I frequently spray my hands and rub them together just to make sure that everything is completely and utterly sterile. So, okay, I just had to say that. Now let's get going. Okay, we will have to scrape the sides down and stuff just to make sure that everything is 
getting incorporated and getting all fluffy. I had to turn that light off. Um, powerful machinery. These are um, my photography lights. I think I've mentioned it before. I was a professional photographer before my epilepsy got really bad. Um, now I paint. Painting does, The paints don't flash at me. <laughs> but uh, I had to turn that light off, so I apologize if it gets dark. Once I'm done using the kitchen aid, um, I will be able to turn that light back on. So we've scraped down our sides. So I'm going to keep going. Lock it in place. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna scrape this down again. And when I get um, this started again, I'm gonna do it on a lower speed and I'm gonna start to add my castor oil and my sunflower oil. I find that the castor oil really helps with the bubbles and plus it's, you know, fantastic for your skin. So is sunflower oil. But I'm gonna go ahead and add these these oils at a slower speed. All right, I'm going to turn it up after I scrape here. Let me pull this back up so I can really scrape that down. And we're going to blend this for a little bit and let it get all incorporated. I'm going to do this on the side of the bowl. The beaters are not cooperating with me. Okay, lock it down and we go. Consistency. I like that consistency. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to grab my scale really quick. I've already alcoholed it once, but because I put it back over where it was, I'm going to alcohol it again. Because like I said, you can never be too sterile. Alcohol my scale. Okay. I'm going to move this back a little bit. I'm going to turn this light back on for you guys. Okay. Alright, this is on pounds. It needs to be on ounces. And I already did. See, they're all wet. They still alcohol them again. Wipe them out with a clean paper towel. Okay, I gotta move you guys back. You can't quite see what I'm doing here. Sorry about that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is because these are two ounce containers, I'm gonna go ahead and put. Um, The amount that I need in here and I'm gonna separate it because the lucky star is going to be two separate um, colors okay 
go. And what we're doing with this, what Janessa wanted was a total of 25 of these, but she wanted five different fragrances. Uh, 10 whip soaps and um, three foaming sugar scrubs. So that's what we're doing. All right. Let me spray this down again. My other spatula. Okay, I can get my scale out of here momentarily. Grab another. And unfortunately, I have to bring Harold back temporarily because he is the stick blender that I own because the motor still works. It's just the actual like stick blender attachment part that's not working. Um, he is the only stick blender I own that actually has a whisk attachment because I'm going to need that, which this has also been alcoholed. Now I'm going to have to respray my hands. Um, grab some, a little bit, just a little bit of gorgeous blue mica. It doesn't take much with this little amount. And then I need some gold mica. This is the Gold Coast Holiday, which we also don't need very much of. And I have my pipettes over here all alcoholed. And here is our fragrance. Again, this is a dupe of Victoria's Secrets Heavenly. attach this on here do the gold first and we're gonna mix this in I ordinarily would do this by hand uh, mix my micas in and whatnot um, but I usually do one batch at a time and it's all fragranced right in there. So oh, I think we need a little bit more mica than that one. Let me get a little bit more. Oh, I'm going to have to alcohol some more spoons. I'm running out of spoons. And I won't take you through all um five fragrances what i'll do is i'll make this lucky star and then i'll turn off the camera and i'll make um, the walking on sunshine and i'll show you what they look like after but then i'll show you what i do with the with the sugar scrub So now I have a bleach solution over there, which this will be bleached again. And before I use it on the Walking on Sunshine, and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our color is incorporated. And this one as well. Okay, I'm going to grab my press and seal. And because I grabbed that, let's 
spray my press and seal really lightly too. Like I said, I'm kind of a freak about sanitation. I apologize for being a freak about it, but it's it's important, guys. It really, really is. So I'm gonna spread this out. I guess I could have added more gold to that. But I did not. Okay, and then our blue, we are going to add next to it. Oh, this does smell heavenly. I am so excited for this wholesale account, guys. This is a big deal for us, and I'm happy to share it with you guys. I told you I would shout it from the rooftops. And like I said, I mean, Janessa's been a joy to work with. So if you're interested in, in like LuLaRoe leggings, she is your stick. Okay, let me get this off of here. Okay. Alright, let's put this together. one end and I'm probably going to have to back you guys up to be able to see the piping. Let me move some of this. I have all my sanitized stuff back there. Let me, I'll just put the paper towel over there. Let me back you guys up so you guys can see. I'm sorry if I'm making anybody sick. Not my intention. You know what? Let me alcohol the counter again just in case. I know. I know. It's I'm terrible, but it's important. Okay, so these are our two ounce jars. They're very, very nice plastic. And I am going to use an open star tip for this one. And pipe in there. Do my my hands yet again. And all of my tips have also been sterilized. Okay, here we go. She also asked, because we have, um, because these, you can't see through these, the eight ounce containers I do of these, um, if you look on my Facebook page, you can find the pictures of those. Um, you can actually, you know, they're clear, so you can see through them, you can see all the ridges and stuff. So she asked if I could, um, please uh, send her a clear, a small clear one of each scent so she can show the people in her, you know, show her, uh, uh, show her customers what it looks like. I know that one just turned out bad. <laughs> Let me get some paper towel. See, in this sterilization process, you know me, um, I've said it many, many times, paper towel, don't use paper towel, don't use paper towel. But paper towel is your friend in this case. Uh, let me spray this bottle. This is, these are sugar pearls. Um, I forgot to spray all my 
sugar pearl bottles. Oh, do I want to use these or no, those are too dark. All right, let me spray this one too. Like I said, I'm, I, I feel bad making you guys watch me do this, but okay. So I am going to use these pearls. these little pearls first. And these sugar pearls, when you, you know, when customers get these, you know, you can either scoop them out or, I mean, they're going to melt. So it's not that big of a deal. They're just for gorgeous decoration is all. And I have these larger gold ones that I just want to put a few on the top, like maybe three. And what I'm going to do for Janessa is I am going to take pictures of these when I am done making them all and send them to her so she can see what her product is going to look like. So, alrighty then. Okay, so there's our sugar pearls. Let me uh, bring one of these up closer to you. So this is our lucky star. And it, oh, it smells heavenly. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with uh, the um, Walking on Sunshine, and then I'll bring you back when I do the sugar scrubs, okay? I will see you in a few. Okay, guys, we are back to do our sugar scrubs. And the three sugar scrubs that um, Janessa wants are, man, she wants five Maneater, which is a dupe of Victoria's Secret's Love Spell. She wants five Together Forever, which is Papaya Guava Mango. And <clears throat> she gave me the option to do the last five which I am doing what we call starting over, but it is a dupe of Philosophy's Amazing Grace. So those are the three that uh, we are going to do. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whip this up some more and we are going to add sugar. I have measured out 16 ounces of sugar but um, I may not add it all. I'm gonna check the cons consistency here and there as I add the sugar, but I'm gonna whip this up again really quick. Oh, there goes my light again. I'm gonna turn that light off. I'm telling you. Photography lights and epilepsy don't mix. I'm going to scrape this down really, really good. Sorry if you can't see. Okay. Let me get this all off of here. Alright, so I'm going to put it on low, and I'm going to slowly add this sugar. Like I said, this is 16 ounces of sugar. Let me scrape the sides down and oh, I didn't have it locked and check the consistency. Oh, no, not scrubby enough. 
that's for sure. Okay. Lock this, turn this back on. All right, let me check the consistency again. Oh, that's better, but I'm going to add the rest of it. Not too much more to add, but ah, stuck on my fingers. Okay, let me add the rest of this sugar and let it mix for a minute. Okay, let's check it one more time. Oh, that's good. That works. All right. Okay, so I'm going to take my whisk attachment off of here very gently. I'm going to have leftover foaming sugar scrub. <laughs> but we're going to have to mix this really, really good once we get it off of here. So let me turn this light back on. And i got to alcohol my hands. Cause I, I did alcohol um, my light, you know, I did, did a uh, alcohol paper towel with my lights and stuff. And hold on one second. Let me get the kitchen aid out of here so we have some more room. We are back. I just want to get, make sure that I scrape this all really, really well. Get down to the bottom. And I'm going to make my grandbabies some uh, together forever as well so I'm going to do that one last so we're going to start with man eater let me get got to get a paper towel to put my spatula on okay let me grab these have all been alcoholed Okay. Almost there. Because sugar scrub is um, heavier, I want to make sure that I have enough. Because if I have leftover, it's not that big of a deal. I can make samples and whatnot. Okay. Alcohol my hands yet again. Okay. So we're doing man eater first. And man eater is um, with fairy tale pink. I might need more, so I'm going to leave it out. And I buy my love spell from Bulk Apothecary. Um, or should I say my dupe of love spell 
Um, I find that they have the most accurate dupe of it. I've tried several different companies. Um, just one more mill. Um, I've tried several companies and I just find that theirs is the best. And y'all know I love Nature's Garden. Don't get me wrong. But I really like Bulk Apothecaries the best. Okay. So, oh, you know what? I'm going to make sure. I can't remember if I alcoholed it or not. So if you can't remember, alcohol it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there goes some on the counter. Okay, let's get Harold going. Okay. I just got that all over myself. <laughs> I just love it when I do that. I'm sorry I bumped you guys. Okay. So this I will mix all of this in there. See I have some white down there in the bottom. And this I'm going to, I forgot to grab my, uh, my piping bag, um, holder, or what I use as a piping bag holder, so I have to alcohol that out. Let me alcohol the, let me spray these rags really good with alcohol and alcohol the outside of it too. Like I said, I'm you just got to be sterile. Okay, let's do Love Spell with a closed star tip. I think the ones I made for sale, I used an open star tip, but... Oh, can you guys see that? Yeah. You guys are in a unusual angle. that uh, I don't normally film in, so. Okay. Let me get all of this stuff off my gloves and alcohol them again before I grab those. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to alcohol them again. Let's put this away. Alright. Piece of paper towel. So we can set our jars on it. There are our jars and our sample jar. Make sure you guys can see them. Okay. Okay, and do the same thing. You just pipe it in there. Definitely gonna have some left over. But that's okay. I wasn't sure exactly how much I would need. I 
Okay. And like I said, I'll make these and use these for the for the grandbabies. All right, where are my oh they're there. I have these sugar pearls that I use for man eater. Just a few on this little one. One more white one. And I'm going to put some of these small white ones on here too. Okay. Can you guys see those? Okay, good. All right, so that's it. Um, I'm gonna make the other two, the, the Together Forever and the Starting Over, and that's it. But I'm so excited, like I said, that I was so excited to share this with you guys, and I appreciate you being with me. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe and continue to go on this journey with us. This has been an incredible journey thus far. And I appreciate those of you who have been going on this journey with me. And if you're new, please go on the journey. Why not? So you guys have a great, well, I think this is going to be a Wednesday video. So, but you guys have a great few days and I will see you on Friday. Bye-bye.